left of the box. The drawing I have now, when I look at it, I see Michael, like I feel him in it. And the other one that I had done where I was kind of satisfied with, I just, it was bugging me. And I was so close to just redoing the whole thing, but he was there. I knew he was there. So I just had to stick with it. And it's also hard because I wasn't working from a high def uh, picture. Like if I work from a high def picture, it's so much easier. But it was a screen grab I got from one of his videos. And it's not like he was using a high def camera. Like Sam always complains about it on the majority report, you know, because he's afraid it will show his age because he's worried about that for some reason. But it would make me doing art so much easier. <laughs> At the same time, I'll never use one <laughs> for the same reason that Sam was worried. You know, that's something I've always wondered about Sam, just to go off on a little tangent, is he seems very concerned about his age. And yet his age doesn't hamper him at all. Like it doesn't, he's not considered less attractive. You know, it, it probably wasn't until his late forties where people really started to, like he was always an attractive man, but it wasn't until his late forties where people really started to thirst over him, I think. And so he actually got more attractive, but it doesn't hurt his popularity at all, his age. It doesn't hurt his chances of finding a partner, like he's in a relationship now and all that sort of stuff. So I don't know why he cares so much about his age because he always seems like, oh, he's so old. And it's like, well, you know, maybe if you didn't hire just millennials to work with you, you wouldn't feel so old. Um, but he has like such a wealth of knowledge and experiences and, you know, he remembers the time before internet and can compare that to where the world is now. You know, it's to me, it's confusing because like, isn't that the goal to live that long, to live to his age? So then why is it always talked with so much shame to be that in, in his fifties? Because that so many people don't get that opportunity for lots of different reasons. And also his gender, it's not that big of a deal. Because I freak out about my age, which I'm never going to tell you guys. Um, because as somebody who presents female, I have a shelf life. And it's real though. It's not just in my head. It's, it's so ingrained in society. I have so many female friends that are older and they're single. And the prospects of them getting into a relationship is so slim. Like they're single most of the time. And I worry that I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. And I've barely had relationships at all. You know, for me, even relating online, presenting, doing this stuff, it's the younger attractive women that get the attention. So I have to compete with that. So there's lots of reasons why for me to freak out about my age. And just there's so much in my life I want to accomplish that I've never been able to accomplish. Whereas Sam has accomplished so much. He is so much behind him. And so much that he can put to his name. Whereas with me, I feel like my life is just slipping me by. And there was so much I wanted to do and none of it happened. And it really, like, I get a lot of anxiety about it. Like even just publishing my book, you know, being on hold for a year with that one publishing com company was just torture. And now with my ADHD, I have to somehow figure out how to self-publish my book on my own. Where this is just totally out of my, my comfort zone. But it needs to happen. Like, I need to get that fucking book published. You know, this idea of I've never really been conventionally attractive. And at my age, it's only downhill from here, as they say. So when people talk about their age and it's like you hit a certain age and it's only downhill, then what does that tell someone like me where it's never been good? You know, my life has never been in a place where I've wanted it to be, where I've been happy where I felt accomplished. And now you're telling me it's all downhill from here. I'd like to believe that it doesn't matter your age and you can still accomplish things, try new things, have fun, you know, explore yourself, explore possibilities. Like it shouldn't be attached to age, but society puts so much pressure on it, on people. And I know part of it is capitalism. Uh, they don't want people to retire and have their golden years. They want people to be at work. So there's a lot of shame attached to people for getting to a certain age and not working. 
because you gotta be grinding it out to every last moment of your life. But I just, I, I, I hope there's something still more waiting for me or, or about to happen. Like even with my artwork, I love it. And I regret that I spent so many years not realizing I had that talent. And part of me, like all I want to do is just draw and, and catch up and make up for all that time lost. But it, again, I, I worry that it's too late because I still haven't even made a single sale to someone other than my mom on any of my, not a print, not a photograph, no commission drawings. So how do you start a career when you're this age? Yeah. Oh, well, I was rant. <laughs> I blame Sam Cedar for that one. <laughs>